Hi, I'm Natalie Lucier, and welcome to Off the Charts, your weekly digital strategy show where I help you reimagine what's possible in your business. In this episode, we're talking about email subject lines that get people to actually open your emails. Let's face it, we all get a lot of emails these days. So taking a few extra minutes to think through your subject line is actually going to get more people to open up your emails and that's definitely worth doing. So here are my five recommendations to have your readers click and open your emails. Number one, make your subject line like something that a friend would send you. If you think about it, no one would ever send an email in all caps or drop caps if they were just sending something to a friend. So as a marketer, you don't want to put your marketing hat on, you want to think like a regular person. Another great thing about thinking like a friend sending something to a friend is that you won't be sending something that sounds spammy, you'll actually think of, hey, check this out, as opposed to sign up now for this free thing. Two, make a note of what emails that you actually read and open in your inbox, even if they're from friends and family. The concept here is that you want to have a swipe file of subject lines that worked on you because probably your audience is a lot more like you than you think. You'll want to take a look at my Evernote Idea Garden and Swipe File video to find out how to do that. Three, use a little curiosity. The human mind loves trying to figure things out. So if you give everything away in your subject line, people won't necessarily want to open up and read your email. But if you use a little curiosity, it has that open loop effect that gets people to keep reading and to find out exactly what it is that you're offering in that email. A quick example from my own email history is five things that took my business off the charts. People want to know what those five things are, so they're a lot more likely to open up that email. So the idea is that you want to lead people through as they read your email to the desired action that you want them to take. So that first line of your email is to get them to read that second line of your email, and that third one to the fourth one. So if you want somebody to click a link or hit reply or maybe fill out a survey, you have to lead them by the hand and make them take that action. Number four is tell them what's in it for them. So we're all super busy and the more you can tell them exactly what they're gonna get without revealing everything, the better. So here's a couple of examples for you. So one of them is your visualization inside dot dot dot. It tells them that there's something in it for them and they're a lot more likely to click, especially if they're not quite sure what visualization they're about to get. Number five. No one wants their email to land in the spam box. So here are a couple of things that you'll want to do to make sure your emails don't get filtered out. First, don't use the word free anywhere in the subject line or the content of your email. That's one of the biggest flags for most spam filters. You'll also want to make sure that you don't use anything too marketing or hypey or spammy. Take a look at your own spam box to figure out what filters most of those emails are hitting. And like everything else, you should be tracking your results so that you know if you're actually improving in the right direction or if you're lowering your open rates by trying these new examples. So with these five strategies, you'll have everything that you need at your disposal before you write your next email subject line to make sure people open your emails and you get better results. Thanks so much for tuning in to Off The Charts. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up on YouTube and make sure that you're subscribed because I've got more episodes like these coming at you every single week and I don't want you to miss any of them. You'll also want to head over to getawebsitecheckup.com to get specific strategies for your website to get more traffic, subscribers, and sales. Charts Live in New York City is happening soon, so go ahead, grab your tickets, and I cannot wait to meet you in person. Off the charts. It's like the Wild West.